Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to put two sets of data on one graph in Excel. This is the kind of thing that, you, that is useful to know how to do when you have two different kinds of data that you want to plot on the y-axis, but you want the x-axis to be the same. So I have a sheet set up here with just some made-up production data. I've got the week, the number of widgets produced per week, and the defects per week. And I want to make a plot where I have the widgets on one axis and the defects on another axis. So there's different ways of making a chart. Everybody has a different way of doing it. And depending on your operating system, it may look a little different. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to select, select the whole uh, sheet, including the headers, because it's going to know what to do with the headers. So we're going to go to the uh, insert chart. And we're going to select a scatter chart and just simple points. And because we had the range all selected, it knew that we wanted the left-hand column as the x-axis and the other two columns as the, as the y-axis. And it has them both plotted on the same axis. And the headers ended up in our legend here. But what we want to be able to do is we want the defects to be plotted on a different axis because they're, it's a much smaller number and you can't really see what's going on with them. So we're going to select them, just single click on them. And then we're going to go to um, Format, Data Series. And then we're going to go to Axis, and we're going to select Secondary Axis. Now, as I said before, this, the exact menus you go to may appear a little differently depending on your computer and your operating system. But you want to look for something that has Primary and Secondary Axis. And we say OK. And now we see the widgets, which are from 0 to 3,500, are on the left axis, and the defects which are from 0 to 250, are on the right axis. The points are all kind of jumbled together here, so I'm going to do one more thing so we can see them separately. And I'm going to change the scale on the right-hand axis. So I double-click on the numbers on the axis, and I'm going to change the maximum to 500. And we're going to say OK. And you can see, uh, now you can see the data a little more clearly. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to put two sets of data on one graph in Excel. Thanks for watching.